Good morning. We are awake, we are up, and we are alive. Those three things are things that we are. Day 51. And I would like to build a boat. And the plan for the boat is to sail along the edge of the map and just see if we can't work out how far this extends out and stuff. There, that would be the plan. Not sure that we have enough resources to build the boat, but what do we need? Fine wood. Oh, the nails are back at base. Right, well that was a genius idea, wasn't it? Let's do some repairs to the outer wall. It was actually in a state of disrepair because as we were building it, it was raining. Right. So that'll be why we have some problems going on here. But um, I think mostly done now. Yeah, we are now, I think, fixed. There are a couple of sections to the wall that are missing, but we don't need them we don't need them right okay so let's head home we'll get some repairs done direction of home is more or less the direction we're pointing so we'll do that we will get the repairs sorry piggy something's twinkling there a bit of wood. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, it's Steve. Come here, Steve. Remember when we were like throwing down 100 punches to kill? To kill a Steve, and now we're doing it in moments. Thanks to a big spiky, shiny thing. Spiky, shiny things are us, right? And that's where we are. Oh, yeah. What we'll do is we will head back we will oh, I'll get some raspberries in me just to boost me food you know what now we can run faster and farther and the sooner we get back the sooner we can turn around and run back so can we get back to our new base in under five minutes. There's the thing. Roger Bannister, that is I. And kids are today again. Roger Bannister. Who the effing heck is Roger Bannister? But not necessarily just kids. If that is you, do not be ashamed. He was a runner -er from the black and white days. And um, he was the first man to run a mile in under four minutes. And he was British, because British. British are the best <laughs> at like conquering countries and exploiting their re resources. Yeah, you know, we we were doing it long before the Americans. You know, we were after um, gold and potatoes and stuff. Whereas, uh, to be fair, potatoes was the um, Spanish, wasn't it? But um, but yeah, we were um. We were there first, long before the Americans. Everything the Americans know they learnt from us, including like how to speak. Although to be fair, Americans also do a lot of um, Spanish. Right, um, I am still running home. Running, running, running. We are running home. Is that the base? I think it looks like it might be the base. Not on the edge of the forest. We'll soon find out. Yep, there we go. Do we leave a load of wood at the end of here? I know there was a point. No, we did pick it all up. Well done us. Nice and tidy. Thanks, Steve. Okay. So we made it home. 
in two minutes. Have we got? In, can we do a one minute turnaround? There's the question. Bit of wood there. Uh, probably can't do a one minute turnaround, but we can give it a go, right? First of all, let's repair our equipment. Oh. What? Oh yeah. That one. We're gonna need to run upstairs. To this one. Um, how about I just dump off everything that we are carrying? I know this is lazy but I want to try and get back to build the boat as fast as is humanely possible so if I just throw all of this crud of malarkey in here and we'll tidy that away properly next time right so we've got all of that now what do we need for the boat 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 we need 30 fine wood, 10 deer hide. Those bronze nails, get the bronze nails first. 10 deer hide. Did we have any deer hide with us? We had three. Seven deer hide. 30 fine wood. I'm sure. I'm sure we had some fine wood on the go. Storage is upstairs, Bob. Empty, empty chest. Stone. Ah. S seeds. Nothing. Seeds. Seeds. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, where's the fine wood? There it is. Oh, we need 30. So we need 10 more fine wood. Seven deer hides. Seven deer hides, which is perfect. So there we go. And what else was needed? Dang it. Um, 20 resin. 20 resin. 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 I had a spot with resin was here. Did I say 20? Did I say 20? Yes. So we just need 10 fine wood now. And... Oh, confused. Doing this too quickly. 10 fine... Oh, we need 80 bronze nails. Holy shoot. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do this in under 5 minutes. In fact, we're timed out already. Right. Um, okay. 80 bronze nails. Uh, we're going to need six of these, three of these, and that's right, bronze. There we go, bronze nails. Right, 80 bronze nails. Just need to find 10 fine wood on the run back. And we are good. You know what, I'm going to leave that there. And we'll just cut down. If we only need 10, I don't want to be picking up like loads of it. 10 fine wood. Here's some. In fact, I'm going to cut down that one. That one looks ready to cut, right? I think that's only half what we need, isn't it? Oh, that's your 30. That's good. 
Okay, now we're going back to the new base. We have the resources to build said boat. Let's see um we can get out in the in the water today. Admittedly, we, I mean we should really be running around on land at the moment, but just checking out what there is about. But um you know what? Doesn't matter, does it? It's fun. We are here to have fun, right? <laughs> Still running in roughly the general direction. it across the environment. Right, who have we got? It's Steve! Hi Steve! Steve's had a little right now. Right, there's a meadow. Make sure we're roughly in the right direction, which we are go that way we should be there in no time at all when I say no time at all I mean about a minute which is some time one would say I don't think we could disagree with that argument Looks like a base to me. I mean, a holding base, nothing particularly exciting. Okay. Anybody want to go sailing? Me, me, I want to go sailing. and we're off let's have a little right is that an island over there is that a different land I don't know right so I know we're going into the wind we could go faster if we go the other way but this is the direction I'm more interested in learning a little bit about. So yeah, sailing. Do you know what? The mechanics, the water mechanics in Valheim is beautiful. Just beautiful, I tell you. Now it looks like it might be the same land mass that we're on all at the moment. Again, it's just useful information. Saved us running all the way around, but um, we'll find out for sure in a moment. Oh! There's a rock there. Needs to be a bit careful, alright? <laughs> Is this copper? I mean, it doesn't look like copper, does it? Can we avoid these rocks? I think we can. Because we've got visibility at the moment. sail down between these and the shoreline. Those fishes, they can be caught, you know. 
Not yet. We don't have the ability. Well, the will at this point, actually. Oh, well, that was clever, wasn't it? I guess. Off we go again. A bit more rowing. Sun's getting low in the sky. Might have to be a double length episode. I don't think we are going to make it. We might make it back to base. And then go the other way. In fact, I think we'll try and do that. Officially have reached the dead end. Do a full on. Oh, what am I doing here? Hang on. We do some kind of three point turn. I made an absolute hash of that. Let's just continue using the momentum of the boat to. Yep, yeah, that was a whoopsie. But it's fine, okay? Moving. Come on. There we are. Okay, now back out through the rocks. Not into them, please, but through them. Can I get through that gap? That might be. Might be doable. Oh my gosh. It is very rocky down here. Oh, another one. Right, we have sail down. Go through that gap. damage to the boat but there we go right so this landmass we know is the same landmass all the way around which is handy if we're bringing back copper and tin from over here we can use the boat save running it all the way around I think we're going to go too far up this way now. I think heading back to base for a sleep and the repair to the boat might be a better use of our time. What's he looking at? Yeah. the rock. Yeah, the sun is really low now. So I think what we'll do is we'll just have a little peek around the headland here. There's some meadows up here. And that's be good for settling as well. That's nice. There's even a shack down here which lends itself to temporary base status. 
Now I'm going to turn around at this point and we're going to head straight back to our current backup base. More or less a straight line. Yeah, you come out for a swim. You're not going to catch me, Steve. But the wind and me sails. And the map to explore. Closer to the there we go, that should do it. Come on, please tell me we are now close enough that we will be if we go into land, won't we? There we go. So, we'll get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we'll go up for another sail. So we've covered all of this. Yeah, I think we'll just carry on up the way we were going. I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching.